You can do it. Got him. Got him. Dude, they fight so hard. Well, come along and sing this song. Don't just stand there a wishing. Welcome you to join the crew at Max More Fishing. You get more with Max for sure if you'll just take a listen. You'll see how fun it can be at Max More Fishing. guys so today I'm gonna be showing you my favorite way to catch bluegill on a cane pole so I'm gonna be using crickets today as my bait crickets grasshoppers same thing caught these earlier and then I have my cane pole this is a carbon fiber graphite cane pole I got 80 pound braid which you can use just rope running up from the little clip here so that's what I'm going to be using to actually get these fish. And I also have some tiny, 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 tiny hooks. I'm going to be using a hook just about like that. And the reason why I want a hook so small is because these grasshoppers are, I mean, some of them are big, some of them are little, but you just want something so the, it won't pull the grasshoppers under. You want the grasshoppers to look as natural as possible, which natural is, well, floating. Grasshoppers float and they move their little legs trying to get back to the shore. And bluegill and panfish, I have my little grasshopper tube here and I have my little hook. So all I'm gonna do is take a grasshopper, feed it out through the funnel, just like so, and they will like spit all over you. So you got to kind of watch out for that. I mean, it'll just stain your hand, you can see. But then I'm just going to take my hook and run it through the belly of this grasshopper. And just like that, you're ready. So here's the lake I'll be fishing. And you can tell there are bluegill everywhere. Let's just see if I can get one real quick to eat it. Oh, he smacked it. He didn't get it, but he smacked it for sure. Let's see if I can get it. And if they're not doing what they're supposed to do, then you might want to come up and switch your bait. So you'll see that, that grasshopper, that's it doing all that. Oh, 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 coming up for it. Oh, he smacked it, but he didn't swallow it. So that's pretty much all we're going to be doing today. Taking it, dropping it in, just like so. And we're just going to be catching these bluegill. I was wondering where he was. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. You can do it. Got him. Got him. Dude, they fight so hard on this little rod. This light action rod. Come here, come here, come here. Beautiful fish, guys. Look at that fish. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Look at that fish. Let's let him go and get another. Okay. This looks like a good spot. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, 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 that's a big gill. That's a big gill. Oh, that was just a little guy. I don't think I, no. Come on, dude, stop messing with it. That's another one. Holy cow, that's a big gill. Okay, so what happened there is a little guy knocked my bait underwater and then this guy came up and smacked it. Look at that beautiful gill with the bars everywhere. Just a beautiful fish. Let's let this girl go. There she goes. So guys, this type of fishing is like fly fishing but without a reel. Oh my rod. Almost went in the water. I love this type of fishing. It's just really primitive. You can tell people back in the older days used to use this type of fishing a ton. And I know where a whole bunch of bluegill are that are on beds. Oh, oh, he ate it. No. I just had one swipe at a hook only. 
That's crazy, guys. I just had one. I just caught one on a hook only. No way. Wow, these fish are aggressive. Look at that. On a hook only. Oh, that's a big, that was a huge bluegill. Holy cow, guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he broke my hook. Look at this, guys. He broke my hook. Oh my gosh. That's how you know it's a big, big fish when he breaks your hook off. Okay, so I got the grasshopper on a little bigger hook. All the bluegill we're catching could eat with a little bit bigger hook. But I'm going to see if I can catch that big girl again. Because that was a massive bluegill. I know where some gills or bluegill got a bass. I got a bass, guys. On the grasshopper, I got a bass. Little tiny guy. He hit a little bit different than the bluegill did. Definitely hit like a bass did. Looky there on the cane pole. Little bass, beautiful guys. I'm gonna show y'all what happens when a normal grasshopper lands in the water. So you see, bam. They just slurp it in. Bam. They're pretty much just watching that thing move around. And whenever it finally just, they get a good shot at it. They just chomp it. Come on guys. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he waked on it right when I was looking away. And that is the bluegill I have been looking for. This is a half and half bluegill green pumpkin sunfish. Absolute toad. Look at that fish. If I see the bluegill I want and he takes it like that, like that guy did. Oh, that's a good one. No, he's not. Holy cow. Okay, this is an okay fish. I'm not going to complain for him about him because it's a good fish and he put up a good fight. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, 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 big and big and big and. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no. Did he take my. I think he took it. Oh, wait, there's still a little piece left. Like I said earlier, use everything you got on that. Like that. That's a big bluegill. Holy cow. Holy. Oh my gosh. It's a big, big bluegill, guys. Look at that stud. I even still got a little bit of my grasshopper left. No way. Woo. Woo. He smoked it, guys. He smoked it. Look at this. He's peeing. Really, dude? Really? Look at that fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Okay. Let's see if we can find any more. I am almost out of bait. So I hope we can. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of me taking a cane pole and some grasshoppers out and catching some fish. Caught bass and bluegill today. I wasn't expecting to catch some bass, but it's super cool that they actually will bite them. So uh, yeah, I mean, hope you like this video. If you wanna see more like how-to type videos like this, comment below, comment below on anything you'd like to see any, like anyway. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and you know the drill. Comment below on anything you like to see next. And, as always, you get more with Max for sure. If you'll just take a listen, you'll see how fun it can be at Max More Fishing.
Oh, I just caught a bass on only a hook. No way. I didn't know if you saw that, but I was just pitching. And I saw a bass, and I started pitching to him, and he started getting interested. Turns out, he was on the line. Or he came up and bit it. It's crazy. Only a hook. These fish are eating. Like that bluegill? On only a hook. Crazy, you guys. Absolutely cray cray. Ooh. Oh, that's a better bluegill. Come on, boy, get up here. That's a lot better bluegill on only a hook. <laughs> 